Hello and welcome back to An Academy. So myself, Dr. Muskan Chaudhary, and today we'll discuss about the hospital acquired infe infections and how to prevent them. Okay. So hospital acquired infections are one of the uh, common reasons for the infections among the people who are admitted to the hospitals with uh, not that particular disease. Okay. So as we know that An Academy is the India's largest learning session and in the plus subscriptions we get the live and the recorded classes and soon we'll be able to assess the recorded classes anytime and anywhere. This can allow we can personalize our learning experience from our favorite educators because India's top most educators are working day and night to provide the best of your best of the content to you guys, right? And you can and you can compete in the live TNDs. You can compete in the live TNDs with the uh, and help uh, evaluate your performance, right? And approx twenty five thousand MCQs are being provided by the UN Academy, and that makes a huge number of MCQs. And you can study on the device anywhere, everywhere, specifically for those students who are at the periphery, for those doctors who are at the periphery, they do not get much of the time. And soon, printers notes will be provided with the iconic subscription. And as I told you before. In the plus subscription till 11th of September, the printed notes were provided. But now, with icon subscriptions, if you get, you will get the two of the best coaching institutes together, in which the An Academy and Prep Ladder has come together. And Prep Ladder, as we know, it's very famous for the rapid revision courses. It's very famous for its what? It's all rapid revision courses and the notes, right? So, and an academy and prep letter has come together for icon subscriptions and it costs only about 60,000 plus subscription and 70,000 plus subscriptions for four years in total, right? And most of the students, they start taking preparation from the second year and the third year itself. So, it is a, it is what? A great advantage for the students because two of the coaching institutes has come together so you don't need to wander here and there about from one place to another place for coaching right and other than this if you get 12 months of subscriptions you will get 10 months of subscriptions totally free and for 24 you will get four months of subscriptions totally free right so I will request you to use my code that is MUSKAN10 to get 10% of the discount right on the uh, uh, for the subscriptions. Now today we'll talk about the hospital acquired infections. Okay. Now uh, hospital acquired are those infections these are actually acquired by the person after stepping into the hospital after 48 hours of the in, uh, uh, admission to the hospital and the person was not admitted for the same disease that has been acquired from uh, by the hospital right and how to prevent them actually one is standard precaution and another is what transmission based or Specific precaution. Okay, so ये दो तरह के precaution होते हैं. That is one is the standard precaution and another is the specific or the transmission uh, based precautions. Now, when we talk about the standard precaution, when we talk about what the standard precaution, that is the infection control practice, right? to control what hospital acquired infections and what are the standard precautions jo jo kya kya aata hai apna hand hygiene and how to do the hand hygiene the uh, this the steps are very important ppe kit because uh, in aims the hand hygiene steps have been asked is kind of biomedical waste management biomedical waste handling and sharp objects handling is kind of blood spill management very very important that is blood spill management and next is water disinfection okay so standard precautions that is the precautions we will anyhow have to follow before uh, before uh, entering into the hospital and after the hospital after touching the patient before entering before touching the uh, patient right so so when we talk about the hand hygiene, जब अपन hand hygiene की बात करते हैं, तो अपन उसमें अपन एक use करते हैं alcohol based hand rub, जिसमें seventy to eighty percent of what we use is the ethyl alcohol. 
ठीक है इसके अलावा अपन क्या यूज करते हैं क्लोर हेक्सिटिन दैट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ व्हाट टू टू फोर परसेंट ऑफ द इथाइल एल्कोहल एंड व्हाट इज द टाइम पीरियड इट इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी सेकेंड्स वी हैव टू एल्कोहल बेस्ड हैंड रब वी विल यू हैव टू यूज अगर अपन एल्को अगर अपन हैंड हाइजीन में अगर अपन सोप्स एंड डिटर्जेंट्स अपन यूज करते हैं सोप्स एंड डिटर्जेंट्स राइट They have the time period contact has to be about forty to fifty seconds. Okay. Now, very important is the five movement of hand hygiene. जो हम आगे भी जाके पढ़ेंगे कि what are the five movements of the hand hygiene. So, where what is the important clips of the session will be discuss uh, discussed in the starting of the session. Five movements is very important. That is before touching of patient. before touching of patient before procedure before any procedure after procedure or any body fluid contact very obvious after touching patient and after touching patient surroundings ठीक है दैट इज बिफोर टचिंग अ पेशेंट आफ्टर टचिंग अ पेशेंट बिफोर टचिंग द पेशेंट सराउंडिंग्स आफ्टर टचिंग द पेशेंट सराउंडिंग्स और द बॉडी फ्लूड्स राइट सो नाउ वी व्हेन वी कम अबाउट द व्हाट इज हेल्थ केयर इंफेक्शंस इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द डेफिनेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट यस वन थिंग इज दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट क्या होता है पीपीई किट राइट दैट इज पर्सनल प्रोटेक्शन इक्विपमेंट्स दैट प्रोटेक्ट what the main aim is to protect the skin and the mucous membrane from blood and the body fluids so this is what ppe that is ek to isme apna aega gloves dusra apna kya aega प्लास्टिक एप्रॉन्स दैट विल टॉक अबाउट इसके अलावा एन नाइनटी फाइव मास्क वाई इट इज एन नाइनटी फाइव दैट इट वॉज फिल्टर्स नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द एयर एंड बाय नेगेटिव प्रेशर दैट इज एन इज वॉट नेगेटिव प्रेशर कैप नेक्स्ट इज वॉट फेस शील्ड नेक्स्ट इज वॉट सर्जिकल मास्क के अलावा गोगल्स दैट वी वी एंड द सर्जिकल ठीक है सो दीज आर पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट दैट प्रोटेक्ट द स्किन एंड द म्यूकस मैम्रेन फ्रॉम द ब्लड एंड द बॉडी फ्लूड दैट इज द ग्लव प्लास्टिक एप्रिंस एन नाइनटी फाइव कैप सर्जिकल मास्क गोगल्स कैप फेस शील्ड एंड प्लास्टिक एप्रिंस ठीक है सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द पी पी ई अब दो टर्म्स अपन यूज करते हैं वन इज डॉनिंग एंड वन इज डॉफिंग ठीक है डॉनिंग का मतलब है पहनना दैट इज व्हाट वियरिंग एंड रिमूवल इज व्हाट टॉफिंग ठीक है सो सबसे पहले अपन क्या पहनेंगे गाउन फिर उसके बाद क्या पहनेंगे अपन मास्क और रेस्पिरेटर उसके बाद अपन क्या पहनेंगे गॉगल्स और फेस शील्ड उसके बाद अपन क्या पहनेंगे ग्लव्स और जैसे अपन को रिमूव करना है इसी स्टेप में पहले ग्लव्स वील रिमूव देन वील रिमूव दिस फेस शील्ड वील रिमूव देन वील रिमूव द मास्क एंड द रेस्पिरेटर एंड वेन देन वील रिमूव व्हाट गाउन सो व्हाट इज डॉनिंग एंड टॉफिंग डॉनिंग मतलब पहनना टॉफिंग मतलब व्हाट टॉफिंग मतलब व्हाट रिमूवल ठीक है सो दिस इज वॉट डॉनिंग एंड द डॉफिंग Now, when we talk about the spill management, 
ठीक है द स्पिल मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्वेश्चन हैज री अकर्ड इन द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द नीड दैट इज व्हाट द साइट ऑफ द स्पिल इज हाउ डू वी मैनेज द स्पिल मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट इज दैट वी योर पीपीई किट राइट एंड नो एंट्री साइन इज इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है जहां पे भी स्पिल हुआ नो एंट्री साइन विद द पीपीई किट इफ स्पिलेज इज स्मॉल दैट इज लेस देन 10 एमएल then wipe it immediately okay with any absorbable material wipe it immediately with absorbable material and discard it where discard it where in appropriate bin theek hai and what is the concentration that we use if it is small then use 1 to 0.5% of the sodium hypochlorite but if the spillage is more than we use up to 5% of the sodium hypochlorite okay so this is the basic between the uh, this spillage just a second i got a call from the hospital okay so first is what will come to the definitions that is very important and that is what now first is what what is health acquired infections okay now that is what what is health acquired infections it can be defined as the infections that has been acquired by a person that was an admitted for a reason that is not uh, that is other than the infection he is having okay and infection should not be present at the time of the admission to the hospital or teesra ye that it should be appearing after 48 hours of admission okay to ye ho gaya apna health acquired infection ab agle ki apan baat karte hain this can also include the hospital infections that are acquired in hospital but symptoms appear after discharge ek ye hota hai occupational infections in the healthcare workers that we see that is needle stick injury due to it and another is the infection in the neonates that takes place through the birth canal all right now when we comes next that is the cdc that center for disease control and prevention that is present where in the atlanta has established nhs safety that is a national health care safety network and whatever the hand hygiene donning and doffing whatever we read we read according to the nhs and system that is national health care safety network to monitor the incidence of the nosocomial infection as the site of the healthcare facility has in, uh, shifted uh, services to the the relevance of traditional terminology such as healthcare associated or nosocomial infection has been diminished now they are the most common adverse uh, uh, adverse events and what is the probability who may it is about 10% it is about 10% in the developing countries and up to 7% in the developed countries right and it occurs in 10% of the mortality occurs in up to 10% of whatever has been affected okay so 7 to 10% variation hai now what are the factors most important is the very obvious immune system of the person agar person jo most of the hospital jo people they are admitted already very weakly immune so the with impaired immunity 
the uh, person will they will be whatever the treatment they will be received they are what having the already impaired immunity okay so they have the more chances of the nosocomial infection next is the hospital environment hospital environment is having a large number of microorganisms in the environment see okay okay so magnitude kya microorganism ka zyada hai okay now transmission can cause nosocomial outbreaks most of the organism present in the hospital environment are what multi drug resistant theek okay? hai ठीक है एंड दैट इज ड्यू टू एंटीबायोटिक यूसेस दैट हैज बीन इंक्रीज्ड इन द हॉस्पिटल राइट सो इम्यून सिस्टम ऑफ द पर्सन द हॉस्पिटल एनवायरनमेंट एंड व्हाट दिस वी हैव डेड द हॉस्पिटल ऑर्गेनिजम्स बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर व्हाट मल्टी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस ड्यू टू इंक्रीज एंटीबायोटिक यूसेज ठीक है नाउ व्हाट इज हैपेंस इज अ मल्टी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम वेरी हाई सो दे विल स्लोली रिप्लेस द सस्पेक्टेबल स्ट्रेन्स इन द हॉस्पिटल्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ एमटीआर विल टेक प्लेस now coming to the diagnostic or therapeutic intervention now that is the by central line catheter right they may introduce the infection from the exogenous environment up to the endogenous coming to the transfusion blood products and the intravenous fluids they are used that is a tti can takes place that is the blood borne infections that is hiv hepatitis b and the hepatitis c नेक्स्ट इज द सोर्सेज ऑफ इन्फेक्शन सबसे पहले अपन एंडोजिनस सोर्स की बात करते हैं दैट इज द एंडोजिनस सोर्स दैट इज दे आर पेशेंट दे आर एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट नॉर्मली इन एवरी पर्सन फ्लोरा ठीक है चाहे वो गट हो चाहे वो ओरल फ्लोरा तो हमेशा होता है बट सिंस द इम्यूनिटी ऑफ द पर्सन हैज impaired or surgical manipulation has done so from one side to another micro organism can transfer and the uh, takes place what infection exogenous they are acquired from the hospital environment that is may in amenate objects like air water or food okay ho, and they can contaminate the patient health care workers may be potential carriers and which may be multi drug mdr that is a multi drug resistance staphylococcus is the main source of what the hospital acquired infection now coming to the microorganism now what the first we need to remember is the sk pathogens they are caused by almost any microorganism but they are specific that are resistance to anti microorganisms that is sk and what does the sk stand because they are responsible for a large number of the nosocomial infections that is what enterococcus s for staphylococcus k for klebsiella a for acetinobacter ठीक है P4 pseudomonas and E4 Enterobacteriaceae family Enterobacteriaceae species ठीक है इसके अलावा COVID-19 that is very prevalent now and Mycobacterium tuberculosis although the list will never end but SK we need to remember that is Enterococcus staph Klebsiella Acetinobacter pseudomonas and the Enterobacteriaceae family now next is what the hepatitis B and C viral infections now what is the mode of the transmission the microorganism spread ठीक है नाउ व्हाट इज द मोड ऑफ द ट्रांसमिशंस नाउ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म स्प्रेड इन द हॉस्पिटल नाउ दे आर डिस्कस सब्सिक्वेंशली इन दिस चैप्टर्स अंडर द ट्रांसमिशन बेस नाउ व्हाट आर द मेजर हॉस्पिटल एक्वायर्ड इंफेक्शंस नाउ दिस देयर आर लिस्ट ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल एक्वायर्ड इंफेक्शन सबसे पहले वी टॉक अबाउट द कैथेटर एसोसिएटेड यूटीआई नेक्स्ट इज द सेंट्रल लाइन एसोसिएटेड यूटीआई और वेंटिलेटर एसोसिएटेड यूटीआई ठीक है ठीक है दैट इज अ कैथेटर एसोसिएटेड यूटीआई सेंट्रल लाइन एसोसिएटेड यूटीआई एंड वेंटिलेटर और द सर्जिकल साइट इंफेक्शन सो वॉट इज वॉट नंबर वन इज वॉट कैथेटर कैथेटर की वजह से मेजर हॉस्पिटल एक्वायर्ड इंफेक्शन है उसके बाद सेंट्रल लाइन एंड द सर्जिकल साइट इंफेक्शन 
Now, how do we prevent the hospital acquired infection? And now, one is a standard precaution that we have seen, and another is a transmission based precautions. Now, standard precautions mein apne kya -kya aate hai that we can to prevent. Now, that is mainly standard precaution is mainly to protect our contact with the body and the body fluids and the non intact skin and the rashes and the mucus membrane okay so this measure should be followed when providing care to or handling now universal precaution was a term used to refer in the past for the infection control practices toward contact with the body fluids but now the term universal protection has been replaced by what the standard precautions अब स्टैंडर्ड प्रिकॉशंस में क्या क्या ना स्टैंडर्ड प्रिकॉशंस आर इंडिकेटेड वाइल हैंडलिंग ऑल ऑफ द पेशेंट मतलब ये तो आपको स्टैंडर्डली फॉलो करना ही करना है तो सबसे पहले अपन बात करेंगे व्हाट आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड प्रिकॉशंस ठीक है तो व्हाट आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड प्रिकॉशंस नाउ फर्स्ट इज व्हाट वील टॉक अबाउट द हैंड हाइजीन एंड हाउ टू डू द हैंड हाइजीन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी नीड टू रिमेंबर एंड वील रीड इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड्स नेक्स्ट इज द पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट स्पिलेज क्लीनिंग दैट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट ठीक है डिसइंफेक्शंस ऑफ द patient's care items and the patient's surroundings right and the environment cleaning of the surface and the floor and the cuff etiquettes cuff etiquettes kya hote hain that is also an important question theek hai so names of the standard precautions you need to remember sabse pehle apan baat karte hain hand hygiene ki kyunki hands they are what they are the main source of infection in healthcare facility and therefore it is a most important measure to avoid ट्रांसमिशन तो हैंड रब अपन कैसे करेंगे अब हैंड रब अपन कैसे करेंगे सबसे पहले अल्कोहल बेस्ड हैंड रब से करेंगे जो आपने ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके दैट इज अबाउट 70 टू 80 परसेंट ऑफ द इथाइल अल्कोहल एंड क्लोर हेक्सीडीन बेस्ड हैंड रब्स एंड व्हाट इज द कांटेक्ट पीरियड दैट इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट इज अबाउट 20 टू 30 सेकंड्स एडवांटेज क्या जल्दी वेपोरेट हो जाता है हाथ धोने की जरूरत नहीं अपने आप ड्राई हो जाएगा रूटीन पेशेंट केयर में फॉर ऑल द एक्टिविटीज वी नीड द एल्कोहल बेस्ड हैंड रब नेक्स्ट इज द हैंड वॉश दैट इज व्हाट वी एक्चुअली यूज अ सोप एंड डिटर्जेंट दैट यूज फोर परसेंट ऑफ द क्लोर हेक्सीडी एंड दे आर फॉर द फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड दैट वी ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट राइट सो वेन हैंड आर विज वेन वेन हैंड वॉशिंग इज इंडिकेटेड जब जब हैंड इज इनफेक्ट मतलब वेन वी आर कॉन्टेक्ट विद ब्लड एंड द फ्लूड एंड द बिफोर एंड ईटिंग आफ्टर टचिंग द पेशेंट आफ्टर टचिंग द पेशेंट आफ्टर टचिंग द पेशेंट विद डायरिया राइट एंड वेन इज द सर्जिकल हैंड स्क्रब इज नीडेड दैट इज फोर थ्री टू फाइव मिनट्स दैट इज नीडेड इन ड्यूरिंग एनी सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर ठीक है राइट दैट इज फोर परसेंट फ्लोर हेक्सीडेंट तो बीस से सेकेंड तो आपको हैंड रब यूज करना है अगर आपको हाथ धोना है तो कम से कम चालीस से चालीस सेकेंड धोना है और अगर आप सर्जरी के बाद हाथ धो तो कम से कम तीन से पांच मिनट Again, very important that uh, what are the five moments for the hand hygiene? Now, the coming to the five moments of the hand hygiene, which includes before touching a patient, after touching a patient, before cleaning a uh, procedure, after fluid risk and fluid exposure, and after touching the patient surrounding. So these are what these are what these are the five moments of the hand hygiene. now coming to the ppe that is protect the skin and the body mucus membrane and the rashes from the contact with the outer surface and its components or components are important that includes what that includes the gloves mask respirators gown plastic aprons goggles face sheet shoe cover and the head cover and the level of the risk with the contamination of the skin uh, to decrease right and what is the root of the suspected organ in contact droplet inhalation therefore for them specific as a part of transmission based precaution now the most ppe trees are used as a part of transmission 
pays precautions there are few indication where pp are used as a part of a standard precautions although ppe is a part of not a standard but mainly a transmission based precautions because normally we do not use gloves uh, this mask uh, this and all the covid ke baat alag but before that theek okay? hai so it is normally a part of the Uh, transmission based precautions now what are the five moments of the hand hygiene that is before this is very important please remember it by heart because it is again an important question coming to the next that is the gloves now gloves protects both the patients as well theek hai to dono ka protection hota hai both patient as well as well as the hand health care workers by exposure to the microorganism that has colonized their hand the use of the gloves is they indicated represent a waste of resources when in situation where they are not indicated right so hand hygiene gloves is not a substitute glove is not substitute for the hand hygiene and hand hygiene before glove use right this is done although the hand after applying the glove the use of the uh, spirit that we normally do is not indicated and hand hygiene before glove use is why it is pre, uh, uh, why it is in a preferable kyunki apan ek bar gloves pehn lete hain to moisture and the heat after wearing the gloves uh, actually uh, multiplication of the microorganism the environment is favorable therefore the hand hygiene necessary for before glove use now the removal of the glove at is creates a moist and oppressive environment therefore after removing also we need to wash our hand now coming to the changes gloves should be worn by a single patient and that to not beyond a single patient contact okay that is in between every two patients gloves has to be changed and no hand hygiene uh, over the gloved hand why because uh, the glove hand should not to be wiped with any form of hand rub as i told you so this is a technique and this is again very important uh, question कि अपन हाथ कैसे धोते हैं हाथ कैसे धोएंगे मैंने कैसे हाथ कराया था आपको दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट एम टेकिंग ऑल दो आई टुक द सेशन ट्राई टू टुक द सेशन टू थ्री डेज बैक बट देर वॉज सम इशूज ट्रेनिंग सो मच सो दे वर इशू विद वाइफ सो आई कूडेंट टेक इट एंड आई हैव टू अगेन टेक इट ठीक है तो एल्कोहल बेस्ड हैंड रख कैसे लिया आपने पहले अपने पाम में हैंड वो लिया एंड सैनिटाइजर लिया ठीक है कुछ भी लिया फिर उसको अपने हाथ पे पाम पे रखा ठीक है ना एवरीथिंग विल स्टार्ट विद द फिंगर्स ठीक है तो पीछे स्टार्ट किया रब द रब फिंगर्स एट द बैक ऑफ द ईच ऑफ द हैंड उसके बाद इंटरलॉक करो इंटरलॉक करने के बाद इनको गले मिला दो ठीक है गले मिला दो लेकिन अंगूठा तो छूट गया फिर उसके बाद अंगूठा साफ करो ठीक है अंगूठा साफ करा तो मैंने क्या एवरीथिंग विल स्टार्ट विद द फिंगर्स पीछे से फिंगर्स से स्टार्ट हुए आगे से हुए फिर अपने गले मिलाया फिर अंगूठा छूट गया विल क्लीन दिस थम एंड देन विल इन सर्कुलर मोशन विल क्लियर आउट ऑफ पाम ठीक है उसके बाद पाम भी अपना साफ होगा उंगली भी साफ होगी फिर अपन रिस्ट यहाँ से साफ करेंगे एंड देन वेट अंटिल द प्रोडक्ट ड्राइज अप सो दिस इज हाउ वी रब आर हैंड ठीक है दैट इज अप्लाई ऑन द पाम देन From rub back of each of the hand, then the front of each of the hand, interlacing. Take care, then interlock the fingers, then clean down your opposite hand by clasping the fingers, then rubbing, ah, uh, rubbing tips of the fingers in opposite palm of circular motion, and then rub each wrist with an opposite hand, and then dry out. Okay, कितना time लगना चाहिए? पंद्रह से तीस second में सब हो जाना चाहिए. Next is what the Etiquette sign that is cover your nose or mouth with the tissue and when the tissue is not available cover it with your sleeve of the elbow. ठीक है and उसको use करने के बाद tissue को use करने के बाद you can ah uh, throw away in the dustbin. Now coming to the indication for the glove use. Now glove is a part of a standard precaution before any style procedures before any contact and the uh, we need to wear with the uh, this gloves right and to protect from any sharp injuries mainly used by the medical health uh, staff. Now what is the indication for glove removal? ठीक है अगर glove आ damage चेंज भी हो गया या फिर glove को हमने already patient को देख लिया है we will not use between the two con two patients contact and then there is a indication for the hand hygiene what types of gloves pen rakha under and the moisture and heat and we need to change the glove we can do that what is the clinical situation where use of gloves is not indicated theek hai if there is no risk to hum faltu mein gloves nahi pehnenge jaise ki bp temperature ya aise kuch measure karne ke liye maintaining the patient chart we will not use now next is what the surgical mask and the respirators
ठीक है सो वॉट नेक्स्ट इज वॉट नेक्स्ट इज वॉट सर्जिकल मास्क एंड द रेस्पिरेटर्स नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द सर्जिकल मास्क दे आर वॉट दे आर एक्चुअली लूज फिटिंग आइटम्स दैट कवर्स द नोज एंड द माउथ एवरी वन नोज नाउ वॉट इज सर्जिकल मास्क एंड दे आर पार्ट ऑफ अ स्टैंडर्ड प्रिकॉशंस टू प्रिवेंट द स्पेशल स्प्लैश ऑफ द ब्लड फ्रॉम रीचिंग द नोज एंड द माउथ ठीक है नाउ वेन वी कम अब टॉक अबाउट द आउटर फ्लूड रिपलेंट रेट इज मेड ऑफ आउटर फ्लूड रिपलेंट फिर मेड ऑफ फिल्टर लेयर होगी और सबसे अंदर hydrophilic layer hogi just remember the name of the layers now what is the instruction single use hote hain apan ko ek mask ko 4 se 6 ghante zyada use nahi karna hai dusra usko pehenna kaise we will have to adjust the nose bridge so there is no gap between the face and the mask agar kai logo ke beech mein ka gap between the nose and the mask taki air gap na rahe वन इज द हैंगिंग मास्क सिंड्रोम आपने अपने हॉस्पिटल में देखा होगा बहुत सारे लोग क्या करते हैं कि जो मास्क जो है गले में टांग के रखते हैं एंड दैट इज वेरी अनहाइजीनिक प्रैक्टिस क्योंकि वॉट एवर इज अराउंड आर नेक विल बी कंटेमिनेटिंग द इनर सर्फिस ऑफ द मास्क दैट हैज टू बी टोटली स्टरलाइज also the touching the front of the mask while wearing should be avoided and mask should not be worn with beard and unshaven face so all the doctors out there please shave before using the mask and hand hygiene should be performed before donning the mask theek hai donning matlab pehenna doffing matlab utarna okay so this is how and gloves kaise pehenne hain gloves i guess uh, about the gloves uh, everyone knows ki how to wear the gloves ठीक है तो ग्लव्स कैसे पहनने हैं नाउ पिंच एंड होल्ड द आउटसाइड ऑफ द ग्लव्स ठीक है नियर द रिस्ट एरिया ठीक है उसके बाद पील इट डाउनवर्ड्स ठीक है एंड पुल द ग्लव्स अवे उसके बाद कंटिन्यू टू पुल अवे टू अवॉइड द डिकंटामिनेशन एंड जो हाथ अपना साफ ग्लव उतर गया उसको अंदर से लेके अनग्लव्ड हैंड साइड से वी नीड टू रिमेम्बर सो डू नॉट टच द आउटर सर्फेस ऑफ द ग्लव्स दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस Now coming to the respirators on how we have already seen that how to wear those respirators. ठीक है. Now what is N95 respirator? ठीक है. What is N95 respirator? That is a respirator that is protect the wear from the airborne microorganism that is used uh, right. So N95 मतलब 95% of airborne particles N से मतलब negative pressure अपन create करेंगे. Four layers के बने होते भी not need to remember this negative pressure has required because the pressure inside the face piece N95 is negative compared to the pressure that is outside the respirator now coming to the remover now as in the surgical mask ko apan apan ko 4 se 6 ghante baad hatana hai and 95 mask ko apan ko 8 ghante baad hatana hai theek hai even if it getting uh, uh, dirty and all we need to remove, remove this fit checking the must perform a fit check because there should not be no air gap between the mask and the mouth theek hai sealing the sealing the sealer that is present over the nose bridge has to be pressed right that is important so that it air doesn't escape theek hai and fit testing is done for individual coming to the pp kits that is the pp that is for protective person protective body clothing now what it includes one is the laboratory cots that are precaution standard precaution part of the standard with plastic aprons apan ko pehenne hain disposable gowns and the cover overs to cover the whole of the body theek hai so that we do not have this uh, contact with any type of infection uske alawa apan baat karte hain protective eye face eye wear ka goggles ki apan baat karte hain now eye wear must be worn during the procedure because aerosols or blood ki splash ho they are very high risky during performing any procedure theek hai now coming to the head cover and the shoe cover now shoe cover that we are talking about one are the surgical shoes one are the surgical shoes that is the slippers ठीक है एंड नॉर्मल नेक्स्ट इज वॉट द गम बूट्स ठीक है गम बूट्स किन को पहनने की जरूरत है दैट इज आर शार्प इंजरीज दैट इज द रोज मैनेजिंग द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट एंड द हाउस कीपिंग स्टाफ ठीक है एंड सर्जिकल शूज किन को जरूरत है मेनली आईसीयू एंड ओ में ठीक है वेरी बेसिक
नाउ कमिंग टू द डॉनिंग एंड द डॉफिंग क्या पहले पहनेंगे क्या पहले उतारेंगे तो सबसे पहले गाउन पहनेंगे फिर मास्क पहनेंगे फिर गॉगल्स पहनेंगे देन विल वियर द ग्लव्स राइट सबसे पहले हम गाउन पहनेंगे ठीक है फिर अपन मास्क पहनेंगे फिर अपन गॉगल्स पहनेंगे नेक्स्ट विल वियर अबाउट द ग्लव्स विल वियर ठीक है एंड द सेम सीक्वेंस पहले ग्लव्स उतारेंगे फिर चश्मा उतारेंगे फिर मास्क उतारेंगे गाउन सबसे लास्ट में उतारेंगे एंड डिस्कार्ड दिस इन टू येलो बैग द गाउन एंड द मास्क एंड द रेस्पिरेटर जबकि गॉगल्स एंड ग्लव्स डिस्कार्ड इट इन टू रेड बैग ना वॉट आर द स्टेप्स ऑफ द गाउन डॉनिंग एंड द टॉफिंग ठीक है तो फुल्ली कवर फ्रॉम द टॉर्जो फ्रॉम नेक टू नीज आर्म to the end of the wrist and wrap it around the back you must have seen in the surgical surgeries how do we in the ot's do we wear the uh, this gown usko and how do we remove it? do not touch the front part sabse ganda hi wahi hota hai sabse pehle we untie theek hai that sleeve doesn't touch the body and put the gown away from the neck and the shoulder touching the inside of the glove only theek hai and perform the hand hygiene after the remover very important is the blood spill management that is spillage of the blood and the food poisons can any the blood borne diseases so we need to clean down the blood spills that has taken place so what are the steps of the blood spill management sabse pehle it should be attend immediately and mark the spill area no uh, entry zone area fir uske upar koi bhi absorbent material ka towel or cloth which should be spread over it and clean with sodium hypochlorite for large spills theek hai and for large spill kitna percent use karenge 5% and for small spill that is mainly 0.5 ड्रॉपलेट प्रिकॉशन और एक होता है एयर बॉन्ड प्रिकॉशन एक होता है एयर बॉन्ड प्रिकॉशन तो तीन तरह के कॉन्टेक्ट ड्रॉपलेट एंड द एयर बॉन्ड ठीक है एंड दे शुड बी फॉलोड इवन द स्पेसिफिक इन्फेक्शन आर सस्पेक्टेड तो ये तीन थे कॉन्टेक्ट ड्रॉपलेट एंड द एयर बॉन्ड now contact precaution should be followed when there is suspicion evidence of the infection disease that is transmitted by direct to indirect contact easy direct transmission occurs between from one person to another in indirect when through contaminated intermediate object easy agents transmitted to the contact are marsa and c methicillin marsa carbapen resistant and cre vre mdr and other agents so these are what transmission to the in, uh, in this contact infection control measures hand hygiene we have seen pp kits we have seen and surgical mask and the protective gears that we use and the equipments patient placement is that ki for single isolation room with the bathroom facilities preferred and if not then cohorting is recommended what does the cohorting mean ki jin patient ko similar disease hai unko ek hi kamre mein ek hi ward mein rakho aur un dono ke beech mein 3 feet ka distance hona chahiye transfer of the patient it should be limited and healthcare worker should must be wearing the pp if the transfer of the patient from one infected area to another is done Okay. Now next is what the disinfection. Next is what the disinfection. That is, patient room must be frequently cleaned and disinfected. And even after the person has left the room, that it also the need to be done is the dis uh, displacement and disinfected. So cohorting in is again needed for it. Okay. Now droplet precautions. Droplet precautions is used in addition to standard precautions to prevent the spread of the infections that are transmitted through respiratory droplets. ठीक है. Now what are the respiratory droplets? का मतलब they are large particles sizing about more than five ma five micrometer in the size. ठीक है. Now coming to the infection control. 
नाउ फन अगेन द स्टैंडर्ड प्रोसीजर करने करने उसमें हैंड हाइजीन आ जाएगा पीपीई आ जाएगा ठीक है सो ये तो हम करने करने इसके अलावा अपन को वियर एन नाइनटी फाइव रेस्पिरेटर्स एज वेल ड्यू टू एरोसोल जनरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स ठीक है बिकॉज एरोसोल दे आर स्मॉलर पार्टिकल्स अनलाइक दिस वॉट द ड्रॉपलेट डेट आर लार्ज पार्टिकल्स जो कि पांच माइक्रोमीटर से ज्यादा होते हैं जबकि एरोसोल्स दे आर स्मॉलर पार्टिकल्स एंड दे फोर वी नीड टू वियर द सर्जिकल मास द पीपीई ड्यूरिंग द Source control. This is important so that we ourselves do not get the infection. Respiratory hygiene is important. The cough etiquette is very important. The direct coughing and sneezing is totally prohibited. अगर आपको कुछ भी है infection and you need to cough down, you can use a tissue or you can use a sleeve and elbow to prevent the transmission of the aerosols directly. And you can send it to what yellow dustbin. This is again important where you can. then what is forced to the yellow waste bins after the use if no tissues are available then get done in an elbow hand hygiene should be performed very important and contaminant in hand should never be used to the mucous membrane of the eyes theek hai and सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग अगर किसी को इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज है रेस्पिरेटरी एरोसोस डिजीज है देन कम से कम एक मीटर का डिस्टेंस यहाँ पे कितना था यहाँ पे अपने पास तीन फीट डिस्टेंस Now patient of uh, uh, this again the patient placement here will be that is what the three more than three feet uh, uh, displacement and that too the same disease के patient को same जगह पे रखो transfer करना है तभी करो जब आपको जरूरत है ठीक है because there is high risk and the patient should be wearing a surgical mask and the healthcare worker should be wearing PPE right and disinfection of the rooms before leaving after leaving the room of the patient should be done right. Coming to the airborne precautions, that is about the aerosols. That is the smaller particles we are talking about because smaller particles they are suspended in the air for the longer period of the time, and therefore we need to disinfect the room. And what are the agents that are mainly transmitted? Just TB, measles, smallpox, and the chickenpox and all. So. What are the aerosols generating procedure? They because aerosols they are generated at much higher concentrations than than that we saw about the air droplet infections by coughing and the sneezing. Therefore, it is recommended to use and isolate and wear the N95 and the PP. Because here also we were using, but still now we were using the surgical mask that was okay. But यहाँ पे अपन को N95 पहनने की जरूरत है क्योंकि aerosol particles हैं and they are smaller particles that are suspended for a large period of the time. What are the examples of the aerosol generating procedures? जैसे कि endotracheal tube intubation. Open respiratory and airway suctioning, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and the sputum induction and the bronchoscopy. These are the examples of the aerosol generation procedures. Now, coming to the infection control measures. Now, what are the infection control measures? That is a prudent approach is to implement infection control uh, at the earliest based on the clinical suspicion. Okay, so infection control measures. Now, how to control the infection? That is one is the PPE. That is PPE is necessary wherever it is needed because it's a part of the standard procedure. So, उनको पहनना ही पड़ेगा. Another is the patient placement. That is patient should be placed in an airborne infection isolation room. And then in, uh, components include the adequate ventilation, UV germicidal irradiation, and the filtration. Coming to the ventilation, ventilation can reduce the risk of the infection through the dilution of the room air. ठीक है, that is very important. That is dilution of the room air. Negative ventilation से हम कर सकते हैं. Natural ventilation में अपने opposite windows को आमने सामने रखो, so that Cross ventilation will takes place, and uh, the if the doctor is treating the patient, the doctor must not be in between the opposite ventilation because he himself might get the infection. So the doctor should sit away from the direction of the natural ventilation to prevent the infection.
no mechanical ventilation that is a negative pressure ventilation that we do by using the small machines and that is to create a negative pressure so that it allows air to flow into an isolation room but not escape from the room okay the negative pressure room should have the following properties that is air should change per hour and minimum 12 air changes per hour should be taking place okay that is minimum what minimum 12 acs should takes place okay in high risk area and 6 acs in a low risk area now high risk area that is in tb and chest department in fdr tb wards and the clinics and negative pressure that is the pressure uh, the differential dif between air flow from adjacent spaces to the patient room should be more than 2.5 pascals Should be more than 2.5 pascals. That is differential between air flow from the adjacent spaces. That is a negative pressure we are talking about. Next is the UV thermocycle irradiation. That is, if it is not possible, UV thermocycle irradiation devices can be used as to create a negative pressure, and it will kill the organism by irradiating. filtration we have seen what high efficiency particulate air filtration that we filtrate about what 99.99 of filtration transfer of the patients the patients on ever precaution should be transferred outside the negative pressure from one room and it is absolutely necessary therefore and the patient should be wearing a surgical mask and any skin lesions like chicken pox the uh, it should be actually be covered now respiratory hygiene cough etiquettes we have already uh, talked about it now visitors and staff and they should be absolutely be uh, restricted and should be wear uh, if any patient is attending any attendee is attending it should be necessary to wear the ppe now coming to the hospital infection control committee why because it is run by the medical superintendent and he controls the committee for the hospital infection control and it provides a forum for the disciplinary action that needs to be taken and it consists of what a chairperson hoga ek secretary hoga that is a department from the department of microbiology one is the control officer another is the infection control nurse another is a nurse superintendent bhi hoge head of the staff clinic right and in charge of the central sterile supplies department is kelav in charge of the bwm and in charge of the pharmacy epidemiologist hona chahiye ek in charge of the hospital kitchen right so these in charge is that are needing now so evidence kahan ka karne ki zarurat hai to most four key parameters we talked the catheter so it is most important responsible next is central line ventilator and the surgical site infection and they develop a system for reporting and analyze and and investigating now AMSP that is antimicrobial stewardship program that develops antibiotic policies that uh, we need to use antibiotic what we need to use and how to prevent the antibiotic multiple drug resistant policies need to be updated from the guidelines from the time to time and education of the healthcare workers and the staff needs to be done that which antibiotic can cause bacterial resistant had occur or not staff health that is the needle stick injury and they should be educated and the outbreak management needs to be done with the other co uh, cooperative departments are also included that is one is the pharmacy now reviews risk associated with the technologies and monitor them and the meeting should be regularly be done with the staff and the uh, uh, hospital committee to monitor the infections okay तो दिस वॉज अबाउट अ टू डे सेशन टू डे सेशन दो तीन चीजें अपनी यहाँ पे इंपॉर्टेंट थी वो अपनी क्या क्या थी दैट वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट एक तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट था कि हैंड हाइजिन कैसे करते हैं कफ एटिकेट्स कैसे होते हैं ग्लव्स डी दिस है ना टॉनिंग एंड द डॉफिंग का मतलब क्या होता है ठीक है अदन दिस अपन ब्लड स्पिलेज का मैनेजमेंट कैसे करते हैं दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट हैंड हाइजिन में क्या यूज करते हैं और हैंड हाइजिन के फाइव पॉइंट्स क्या होते हैं फाइव मोमेंट्स ऑफ द हैंड हाइजीन क्या होते हैं ठीक है एंड आई होप कि आपका पेपर अच्छा गया इस बार एंड अगर पेपर दोस्त हुआ आर इन द इंटर्न्स एंड दे आर स्टार्टिंग टू प्रिपेयर एंड टेकिंग ड्रॉप प्लीज स्टार्ट इट सोन क्योंकि पेपर अब हो चुका है दिस दिस ईयर माइंड भी द पेपर इन द एप्रिल सो यू नीड टू चेक डाउन योर 
प्रिपरेशन लाइक बिकॉज एवरी वन एल स्टार्ट प्रिपरेशन सून एल सून दे उनको लगता है कि इस बार नहीं हो पाएगा इफ यू हैविंग आपको लिटिल बिट ऑफ डाउट किया आई डोंट नो आई विल बी एबल टू क्लियर इट नॉट सो वेट फॉर द रिजल्ट ठीक है थोड़ा इंजॉय करो बट दो आर हैविंग अ ग्रेट डाउट कि हाँ मुझसे नहीं हो पाया इस बार यू स्टार्ट प्रिपरेशन योर सून बिकॉज Don't be late and start your preparation as soon as it is possible for you only. Because it's a is by examination comparatively jal bhi ho sakta hai because looking at the scenario, so you might get a little time only. So start your preparation soon. Okay, and whatever has happened happens for the good. Okay, life never ends uh, uh, beyond a paper. So either you or this side of the paper, that side of the paper, life will always always be of struggle because even after clearing the paper, your first year will be hectic, and even after the three years residency, you will be still be thinking of where to join the SR yeah. and all. So it, the struggle is never ending in the medical field, and you will have to continuously struggle for it, survive for it, fight for it. So this is just the starting from the twelfth class. uh i guess the struggle has started and you need to live with it and you need to take it casually okay that everyone is facing such a situation not just you everyone is fighting for their survival and it's not just you so it is like the person who has the patience more and who will be able to fight for a long time will will win it and those who will lose it at they, I, they will have to refight for it so just have patience be optimistic luck will favor you because that is also one of the key point a key factor for supporting you so just have faith in yourself okay everyone has work hard and i will see you in the next session and please do use my code muskan 10 to enroll into an academy to open the an academy app to take any subscription for any examination please do like share and subscribe and comment and let me know we are starting with us soon we are starting with the 2022 strategy by 18th or 19th of september तो अपन लोग अब अच्छे से स्टार्ट करेंगे विद बैक्टीरियोलॉजी अंटिल देन आई नीड टू क्लियर डाउन द हॉस्पिटल अक्वायर्ड इन्फेक्शन के एक दो लेक्चर्स ठीक है ताकि मैं हल्के फुल्के टॉपिक से ले रही हूँ क्योंकि अभी किसी को पढ़ने का मूड नहीं है आई नो दिस ठीक है तो विल स्टार्ट विद एटीन नाइनटीन बैक्टीरियोलॉजी अच्छे से सो so, तब अपन अच्छे सब कुछ कवर करेंगे अंटिल देन इंजॉय इंजॉय इट हैव यू फन यू डिजर्व दिस एंड बी ऑलवेज इन यू पॉजिटिव एंड ऑप्टिमिस्टिक माइंड सी यू सोन